Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the father of the second district of Aklan, Congressman Chaturico Nono Jaresco. Welcome to Morakai. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good Good day to everyone. In lieu of our goal to develop sound and meaningful project proposals for the benefit of the constituents here in West Atlanta and to ensure its sustainable socio-economic development, we must be able to consolidate and compromise the plans, activities, and programs of the departments, our congressional office, and the LGUs in preparation for the fiscal year 2022 budget. Hence, we should hit the ground running. Ladies and gentlemen, may we request you to rise for the opening prayer and the singing of the national anthem and the Aklan hymn. Let us bow our head and feel the presence of our Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity for gathering all of us today in this significant event. May you bestow your guidance and blessings on this event and its agenda, so that we can enjoy and appreciate its significance, especially to the lives of the Aklanis. Bless everyone present today, that each may be able to share what he or she has for your glory and honor. May the various activities related to this event be a success through your intervention. We ask all of this in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pampansang awi ng Pilipinas.
Mr. District of Aklan, let's uh, give a big hand to Pakistan and Dono Marisco. And his staff, of course. Uh, sa lahat na dito ngayon, our guests, uh, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning! Good morning. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, presence this morning. Uh, in spite of the problem we are facing today, but uh, siguro kasi si Kong kasi ang nag-invita, no? And this is a very important matter that we have to discuss. Uh, especially on uh, the budgeting by the year 22. I think that there are some uh, process requirements na narinig ko pag wala daw hindi na nasali doon sa RDC listing na talagang hindi ma-implement. So I hope uh, from this group, sa Region 6, I think ito na ata yung BUB, ano? Well, ano na, bottoms up budgeting or itong cash basis budgeting ba? Na we have to enjoy funds or submit budgets that can be implemented within that year. So meaning, pag hindi ma-implement ko that year, huwag na isama sa budget. Or else, that will be question kasi ba't ilagay sa budget na pala mga implement? For tayo, mayroon na naman kami na nagpigti kahapon in Katiklan. So I don't know, hindi pa nabigay sa akin what's the reason dahil ba't marami na sa Burakay parang sibin nata eh. Kasi we are all very dependent on tourism na talaga. Without tourism, Boracay is nothing. Wala na yung mga tanima namin mga kamuti. Yung halos lahat na mga pinagpala, wala na talaga kasi puro na building eh. So yun, yun ang pinakamasaklat dito sa Boracay today. That's why kahapon we have some meeting with the uh, Governor of Flores and the 17 municipalities, mayors. And uh, really to request no, the uh, National Task Force on COVID-19 to consider na kung pwede yung RTPCR is left na or removed as a requirement for tourists coming in Duracay. Or else, wala talaga. Talaga ano. Last month, October, we're expecting that nung we open Duracay for local tourists, almost nung October, mga 2,600 lang kumasok. One year. As compared previous years, na yung 2,600, almost 30% na lang per day. Kasi before, we have 6,000 tourist a day arrivals. Isang buwan yan, 2,600 lang. Almost 100 tourist a day, ang average namin ang pasok sa Puracay. So sabi ko, if this will be extended na ganito, kaya ito, maka marami pa mga matay. So that's why si Kong ito rin, and very supportive, and very concerned for the island, ang dami na rin na nabigay itong mga uh, food distributions at other programs na ganyan sa Duli, yung mga tupad. Sabi ko nga kanina kay staff na Kevinje, baka mayroon pang tupad dyan, dagdagan nyo pa. Ay kawawa yung mga bura kayo nun na. So I hope that uh, this uh, meeting, convergence meeting, especially on the strategic planning for the year 2022, ay will uh, help us no? to, uh, to convince this government regarding the uh, listing and removal of these artificial requirements for the tourists coming to Boracay. We have other tests, so hindi lang namin din magsabi kung ano yun, but I, mean, I knew that there's some other tests na gagamitin aside from artificial, which is uh, not, sure, not so costly, at saka mabilis yung results. So yun lang, uh, I will come you all, and I hope that uh, everybody will enjoy, in spite na, uh, anyway, dito kayo, enjoy it, at saka paunting tao, so parang inyo ang bura kayo ngayon. Huh? So enjoy your day, maybe two days, this is a two days activity, and I'm sure, and then you go, uh, go home to your uh, different places, and I'll say, ang ganda na talaga ng bura kayo. So thank you very much, uh, again, welcome, and uh, good morning. Thank you very much, Mayor. To formally welcome also our guests, let me invite our Congressional District Chief of Staff, Mr. Benji Tokol. Pwede ka niya agahon sa tanan? Maayong agahon sa tanan. Okay, may tagay ng ilaw, no? So, gusto mo na itong i-welcome, no? Atong mga provincial.
Provincial Directors iya sa Provincial Taklan, no? Mumpisa kita sa aton nga bago nga uh, District Engineer, no? Si uh, Engineer Alejandro Ventilacion, sir. Good morning. No? Bala nga KP, ay atong amigo, no? May long time friend, si Mr. Joey Orgula from DSWD. No? At pala makaan to DSWD, no? Yang mengatur ngah provincial director ya Tesda si Mang Easter. Good morning Mang, no. Atau provincial director ya ta DTI, no si Mang Carmela, no. And of course nora atau ngah guapa ngah provincial director Ritar si Mang Teresa, no. Good morning Mang, no. Ada bagi bahan, no. Ada nora atau ngah mga partners iya sa Purakai, no sa Sud iya ta for the past four weeks, no. Hai si Congressman Zaresko ay nakabalik-balik iya sa Puratay para magtawid ayuda sa aton nga mga sectors nga inigo kiti tarang pandemya no so atong palapakan no aton ya congressman dahil uh, ana ka weekend ay iya sa Puratay hindi ay mau mag uh, bakasyon kundi kapilano pud it mga food packs no so uh, sa bilog ana ra aton napasayamatan no aton nga DSWD no Pakiremind lang Sir Joey, may balansi pa kang mukha mo nga video 16,000, no? <laughs> ah, natong kanyo doon natong iya sa atong nga mga sectors iya sa Buracay at sa mainland uh, Malay, no? So, uh, may init gain nga pag-abi-abi, agabay nga mag-enjoy kita, no? Makatao kita at may diet nga input para makabulik pagit kita iya sa atong nga maging mawag iya sa uh, isla at Buracay ang iya sa 2nd District at Provincia at Aklan. Atun man nga welcome si Engineer Roger M. Isto, no? Atun nga Provincial Planning and Development Coordinator. Good morning, sir, no? Ibahan na na si Sir Orly Agudis, no? Planning Officer 2 at atun nga Provincia at Aklan. So, sagamat gin, no? Sa tanan, no? Nga nag-ayat po sa raya ng revokasyon, no? Ginaabi-abi man ato, nung nainit niya pag welcome sa ato ng Regional Director at Department of Trade and Industry, si Ma'am Rebecca Rascon. Good morning, Ma'am. From Iloilo Pagid. So, harap pa lang, hindi na man kung may halipatan pa kita, ay ato man niya lingin doon ng sambiton. Again, kahit ayon niya agahon, at abukit niya sa yaman. Thank you very much, Sir Benji. Being the representative of the newly created 2nd District of Aklan, Congressman Chilorico Jaresco primarily knows West Aklan best than anyone else. Through his sense of urgency, active initiative, and a goal of sustainable socio-economic development, Congressman Jaresco is delighted to present all the core programs in the district today. Without further ado, let us all welcome the father of Wasaklan, Honorable Congressman Chodorico Nono Jaresco. Thank you. Thank you guys. Uh, welcome to Burakai. Regional Directors, please raise your hands. Maraming uh, salamat po. Assistant Regional Directors, Thank you, uh, Division Chiefs. Uh, welcome to Buracay. Tama po yung sinabi ni Mayor, nag-flatline po sila from uh, October 1 to, to about October 14. Uh, there were only, the first day, there were only uh, 70 tourists. So instead of a slope, 70, 80, 90, It was 70, so it went up blip, not 100, but that was blip. So if you were in the intensive care unit, uh, it was uh, flat lining. So the mayor was thinking of a budget of 760 billion, and then he revised his budget to from 700 to 551. And I told the mayor, Mayor Froby, who is my relative, Mayor, ka. First of all, we will pass the first bill where we will defer tax payments. We will uh, create a special purpose vehicle 
and uh, try to mitigate the risk coming from the financial sector uh, to the other sectors. So, what do I mean? Uh, I mean that the, the stress test to be conducted by Banco Central of Pilipinas will have to be more strict. And the banking community, we now have to protect or else uh, it will be a domino like uh, 2008. So, ayun po ang nangyayari ngayon, uh, lalo-lalo na po dito sa Aklan. So, regional directors, may I propose 